Oh, man, well, we know that Wade for Nick Oak blew up on social media this weekend. Why? Because I think he has made it a reality for most of us now that the Rio Olympics is coming. Now, it stands out for another reason as well, because it's the first time that we're going to stage the Games in South America. Over 10,000 athletes from 206 countries will be battling it out for what has to be the premier honour in athletics. And more and more South Africans are ticking those qualification boxes. To prepare for the Olympics in August, athletes are already well into their rigorous training programs for peak physical condition. Marathon runner Irvet van Sale had her first baby four months ago and has a small window of opportunity to qualify for the Olympic team. Yeah, my training regime is quite simple. We stick to road work, but mostly we just do some mileage right now to keep up the pace. My main goal is to run London Marathon on the 24th of April, and that will be my, hopefully my qualifier for the Rio Olympics. So I think my chances is quite good to qualify for Olympics, but if I don't, I have a son to stay at home with, so it will be also fun. Experienced runners like Irvet also motivate first-time Olympic hopefuls like Mapaseka Makanya, who qualified in the marathon and boasts mere seconds between her race times and Irvet's. I've seen Irvet has been running amazingly well this season, so um, when I train, I put my eyes on her and say, you know what, if she can do it, I can also do it. We have so many athletes now trying to run the Olympic qualifying in the women's side, so there's still pressure, but it has made me train harder to be the best that I can. But I'd also like to qualify for the 10,000 meters, hence I'm going to run the national championships in April to try qualifying the 10,000 meters. Marathon rising star Sibasiso Nzima has the talent and drive for the Olympics, but he also has the added bonus of being coached by four-time Olympian Hendrik Ramala. It's a privilege and it's a pleasure to be with Henry Gramala. He can share the experience with us, so he's quite humble and he can give us good ideas. I've achieved a lot in my career without a coach, but in this day and age, uh, sports have moved on. It's, sport is more professional, so it's not good for them to go on trial and error basis. It's better for somebody like me to teach them how to do it, you know, guide them. As Wilson Zima, you know, is a very hard worker. He's talented, he gives 100%, and we are very hopeful that he'll run his personal best, which will put him right into the team. I focus more on my speed endurance and the speed work as well because I do a lot of mileage at the moment, so to be able to, to improve my personal best, I have to focus more on my speed. You know, to be in the Rio Olympics, uh, it's all about the win, because everyone wants to be a champion. So I think if I can be able to be on the top three spot, I'll be happy. In the end, only the top three athletes per event will go to Rio, based on their qualifying performance, and these runners will have to continue to improve their race time to earn a spot at the 2016 Olympic Games.